Hey guys, it's Brock, and I have some extremely exciting news for you. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting up bright and early to drive to California, which is a 23-hour drive, to pick up a rescue well, slash adopted toucan that I am now taking under my wing, so to speak. Kind of a little bit out of the blue. I was interested in adopting a toucan for, you know, ever since Ripley passed and giving an older bird a new home. And at first I was looking at this Swainson's Toucan that was in California as well. And that adoption agency or whatever wanted to keep that bird in California, which is understandable. But this particular bird, uh, the people that he is with now rescued him from uh, a couple that uh, the, the gentleman's wife passed away from what I understand. And once she passed away, they couldn't care for him, or not they, but he couldn't care for them anymore. And uh, so he's been with this man for the past, I don't know if he wants me to say his name or not, so I'm just going to call him man right now. <laughs> but he's been with him for the past five years or so. Um, like I've said before, the bird's about 15 years old. He's been around people his whole life. He was hand raised, bred in captivity, all that sort of thing. But for older birds, and especially with toucans, which are a whole other type of situation than a parrot, people don't necessarily want to uh, take that risk. But I've had plenty of experience with toucans. So he, he saw my channel. I contacted him first, actually. He was asking a very minuscule amount for the bird, comparative comparatively speaking, to what they usually go for. Um, but after he saw what I did on YouTube and everything and heard about Ripley, he's been kind enough to donate him to me. And uh, I'm completely ecstatic, like I was in tears on the phone with, the, with him when he told me. Um, I'm almost going to cry right now, honestly. <laughs> I'm so excited to go. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite the trip to take by myself. Last time I went, I went with Ripley and a friend of mine to do the Iggy Azalea thing in California, and she's she was used to road trips because I traveled with her ever since she was a baby. So I'm not really sure what to expect with this bird. And not only that, but I completely dismantled Ripley's old cage. This is where it once was. And uh, it was a cages by design enclosure, and I was never really a fan of it at all for reasons I don't really want to get into. But I bought a new enclosure, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and it hasn't shipped yet. So, but I had to pick him up before March 4th. <laughs> so, anyways. I guess we'll see what happens in this, with this whole situation here. And my camera does not want to focus. Come on, buddy. There we go. The autofocus on this thing is atrocious for the price I paid for it. Anyways. Um, so I'm really excited to start this new chapter with you guys. And not only am I adopting this Toko Toucan, but I also put a deposit down on another baby toucan for this coming spring summer, which is an entirely different species. And I've talked about this a little bit on Instagram. By the way, if you guys want to be updated with everything that's going on with the bird as I'm picking him up, check it out on Instagram. I am going to do a vlog, but it's going to take me a while after I get back home to edit it and upload it and all that kind of stuff of the whole journey, picking him up and taking him back. But, um, <clears throat> so we're going to have two toucans here in my house now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm very, um, I'm both scared and excited about it. Um, there was a long time before Ripley passed that I wasn't sure if this is, what I wanted to do or if I had a future career in YouTube. I've done YouTube now for quite a long time. Uh, before Toucan TV I did a different, completely unrelated channel uh, where 
was the producer and editor and filmographer and all that crazy stuff. But this is my first solo venture, and it's been an uphill battle in a lot of ways. Um, but after just seeing the amount of support and the amount of influence that Ripley has had in people's lives, I, I kind of just decided to double down on it and take a little bit of a risk. And I'm hoping it'll pay off. It might be a little um, stressful at first. It might be a little, uh, money might be a little more tight than usual, but the channel's been doing well lately. And there's a clear love that people have for the birds, thanks to the channel. And I'm so incredibly thankful for that and incredibly thankful for your support through Go GoFundMe and Patreon, and um, I'm working on shipping the feathers and all that kind of stuff. After after I get him back and get everything settled here, I'll start working on that. But there was just, there was this period after Ripley passed where I just would not leave my room for, you know, I mean, it was a good month or two until I finally started acting more myself. So it was a very tough time for me. Um, she meant, she meant the world to me, and like I said before, in a lot of ways she was all I had, and she got me through a lot, and I, I love her, and I always will love her. She'll never be going away from the channel. Her presence will always be felt here, and I'm just thankful that you guys care enough about me and care enough about the birds in general to stick around with me and be patient with me in this time of rebuilding and I'm really excited to share it with you and uh, not some of you guys have sent me emails about oh I'm sorry I can't donate or anything like that like don't worry about that at all seriously your like just your your viewership <laughs> it does wonders I mean, just as much, just so much as dropping a like or a comment on the videos, I'm, in a lot of ways it's just as good because it shows me that you guys care and I really needed that motivation to keep going. And um, I just wanted to thank you again, personally, from the bottom of my heart for the support and your viewership. And if you want to stay up to date in, real, in more real time with everything that's going on, picking him up, I have not given him a name yet. He actually has a name that his previous owners have given him, but he has the same name as a good friend and mentor of mine. So he's gonna have to get a stage name or something like that that he's gonna go by. So, and I have a very, 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 very good name picked out. But I wanna hear what you guys have to think too. Like suggestions, drop them in the comments. If somebody, comes up with a better name, I'm gonna go with that. But I don't think you guys will. This is a pretty good name. Um, but anyways, thanks again. I'm rambling a little bit again. I tend to ramble, don't I? But um, you'll be seeing a lot more content from us in the future. And I just can't wait to share it with you guys. Thanks again. Special thanks to our patrons, that's Jacob Tomas, JG, Jason Nash, Kate Peak, Nick Stalos, and Anna Douglas, and of course, all of our GoFundMe supporters. Guys, I can't thank you enough. I'm leaving everything up for now. Everything's going to go towards housing the new rescue bird and the baby as well. So keep an eye out for that soon, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me on this journey. Thank you again.